Cooking with Frankie presents Paneer Biryani. Begin by preparing the paneer cheese seasoning with the following ingredients ahead of frying. Heat the ghee or oil in a fry pan and cook the paneer cheese in batches until golden in colour. Cover in foil to keep warm and set aside. We will now prepare the rice using the following ingredients. Heat the ghee or oil in a large saucepan and saute the whole spices until they're fragrant. Add the rinsed and drained rice. Stir to coat the rice. Pour in the boiling water. Season with salt. Cover with a lid and bring back to boil. Squeeze the juice of half a lemon. Continue to cook through until partially cooked and still firm. Drain the rice and set aside. We will now make the masala using the following ingredients together with their quantities. Heat the ghee or oil in a large saucepan and saute the whole spices until they're fragrant. Saute the onions until translucent and fragrant. Add the garlic ginger paste and green chilies cooking through for a further minute. Combine the ground spices seasoning with salt and pepper to taste. Stir to briefly coat the onion in the spices. Add the natural plain yogurt and mix through until well combined. Pour in the tomato puree. Combine water to liquefy the mixture. Add kasuri methi, also known as dried fenugreek leaves for that authentic Indian flavour. Cover and simmer on low heat for approximately 15 to 20 minutes or until thickened slightly. Stir occasionally. Remove the whole spices. We will now bring it all together with the following finishing touches. Combine the chopped coriander and mint. Add the garam masala. Combine the previously cooked paneer cheese. Combine the previously prepared rice over the top. Add ghee pieces over the top and cover and simmer for 15 to 20 minutes on low heat. Remove from heat and rest at room temperature ahead of serving. The biryani is now ready to be served, scooping from the base of the dish in an upward direction.